Hey everybody, Jumbo Thick here. What's going on? I am back with the Beastmen campaign, part two. So, right when we left off, looks like I've got Goros back here. Uh, looks like we still have this Hestalian guy hanging out. Um, I'm not too worried about him. Honestly, if they build up again, it's not going to be that big of a deal because it's going to take them a while to really do anything. We actually need to finish this turn so we can do something else. But, um, I talked to a couple of the viewers since my last video, and I'm going to try to do a little bit better um, explaining army composition and kind of how the game works to, you know, somebody that maybe doesn't know exactly how everything's supposed to work. Where's Wiseman there? That is really far away. I don't feel like that's going to happen. Nope. Where are those at? Oh. Savage Orcs. Nah, not too worried about them. Unless they try to attack me. I saw this guy kind of peeking around over there. So I'm going to go after him. Yeah. We'll send Gorus after him. And then we're going to move these guys up. Because during the last campaign... We need to replenish on our way up there. During the last uh, part, Carcassonne decided that they wanted a piece of us. So we shall oblige. Um, we really need Gores. Because they're going to be our best infantry that we can field right now. So, Beastmen in general, from a campaign standpoint, they are all about getting into melee as quick as possible. They have really good melee skills. Um, the problem is they have really crappy leadership. That's like their main weakness, is they have awful leadership. But, ooh, that would help. So, the th see, you see the negatives here. It's saying that I'm gonna have negative 20 horde growth. The way I'm upgrading my building chain down here is with horde growth. So that's how you get population surplus. So this is actually my growth. So this is going to be negative 20, so I won't grow at all. I'll be stuck at 2 population for a while. But I really could use it to recover from that last fight. Excuse me. I could really use it to recover from that last fight that I had. So... Yeah, we're definitely going to do it. Why not? Man, big old sneeze there. That's pretty awful. Uh... We need Gores, so we're going to continue to move up. I feel like Goros over there can handle himself for now. It's just one lord. We definitely... We got plenty of cash from all that stuff we did. He could get him right now, actually. We could finish him off once and for all. Yeah, no reason to even fight that. Damn. And we'll get him some more horde growth. Not that it matters since it's all going to be going away. But Astalia is no more. Spanish wannabes. Spaniards. Warhammer's version of Spaniards. Alright. We got our horde growth right here. So this is our technology tree. This is how we can upgrade our campaign mechanics and some of our uh, battlefield stuff. See, I need the casualty replenishment, so I'm probably going to go fresh blood grounds at first. Yeah, we'll do that. And as soon as I get gores, I'm probably going to recruit a couple more units. It looks like Carcassonne isn't riding out to find us, so that's good. So far. I was kind of worried they'd come and try to resettle uh, Bibali here. Go there. I'm getting close. So we camp. And actually we need... Yeah, we definitely... We want to get rid of these things. They're pretty much useless at this point. Um, plus I can just get these Ungor with spears. And... They have a lot better leadership. Not saying much. They have five more leadership. So maybe not that much better. But they have shields. So there's that. Uh, we'll keep them for now. I don't, I don't really need them that bad. So 
we're going to be fighting Bretonia. Bretonia doesn't have a lot of armor, which is good for me because I don't have a lot of armor piercing units. And they cost a lot, but these are my best ones because they get this Vanguard deployment. And what that does is it allows me to actually deploy my units outside of their um, normal deployment zone. So I can put them right in front of the enemy because Beastmen are awesome, awesome like that. These cores of shields are good, but Bretonia doesn't feel a lot of missile units, which is usually the bane of all Beastmen. And since they don't, I don't think I'm going to need them that bad. I'd be okay with just the uh, Ungors with shields. Plus they have numbers. Uh, I could use another one of those, actually. Or do I want to go Spearmen? I like these guys because they have Vanguard. Plus they have Stalk. And Stalk means that your units will remain hidden up until a certain point, until they get within range of the enemy. So you can really surprise people and like leave them back. So, let's see here. Yeah, I'll get one more, what the hell, why not? Why not? And Goros, what are we gonna do with you? Goros could actually use a couple more crappy units, just so he'd be better bait, and so he can kind of defend himself a little bit better. So we'll get him... Oh, crap. We'll get him two more of these shitty Spearman Herds. Alright, Gorbul. So, we got six, 16 melee attack. This is going to give us that plus charge bonus. That's actually really big. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that. Gorbul. Gorbul's going to be a beast. Alright. We are heading towards Carcassonne. They're first on my list. How dare they challenge me in such a way? Let's get in there. Let's just see. Let's see what we're, see what we're working with. They got a large army, and Carcassonne has a well, not much of a garrison, but they have a full stack in there. I am not going to be able to take them right now. I will take their money, which might actually make them want to come out and fight me. Oh man, now let's uh, let's yeah, let's get him some more growth. I can I can deal with that right now. Use a beast beast path to skip all this terrain, so I can get him a little bit closer quicker. And maybe we can use him like we did previously to bait out this uh, Carcassonne army, so I can crush them and move into their capital. That'd be nice. Good, he didn't assault me. Oh man. Well, I don't need to recruit any more units, that'd be fine. So I can get Goros right here for now. Which means I don't want to stray too far from him. What's their range? That's at the edge of their range. I might be able to bait him out. And put we'll put him right here and put them in hidden in camp and hopefully yeah because they got nothing they got all those peasant bowmen that's not going to do anything against me really I really I'm going to need that population up soon alright yeah hopefully they'll just charge straight for Goros here let's see All right, good. They took the bait. So they're going to challenge him, but he can run away. And they shouldn't be able to reach him. So yeah, they're stuck there. So now I can move in and take him out. And actually, we'll keep it for now, but I need to drop a unit so that I'm not in the negative. Nope, yeah, I'm just going to do it. Why not? Move you right here, Goros. Kazrak. Let's get you in here. Take care of the Fae Enchantress. Oh, she's trying to run. She's trying to run. It's not going to work. And we got an ambush. So, she does have these field trebuchets, which I'm going to massacre in this ambush. But these Grail Guardians, they're going to be... Oof. They're armored and shielded. 
And they've got a shitload of armor. I got nothing. Well, actually, I got my Minotaurs. So that's going to be my only answer to them. I'll pair them up with some Spearmen herds. So hopefully that'll take them down quickly. Because the Spearmen are anti-large. And so anything horse size or bigger, they will excel at. They get a bonus. So when you see their weapon strength here, see they get a bonus. They get a plus 12 attack bonus when they're fighting large units. So the rest of our army is pretty much crap. Well, except for these battle programs, but that's eh, not going to be enough. All right. We got another ambush. We got Goros coming in later. Let's. So the Fey Enchantress is going to be up here somewhere because that's the way they always line them out. So I'm going to stick Kazrak up here. And I'm going to put all the gores up here. They should destroy any kind of infantry she's got. And you know what? I'm actually going to pair Gorbul and the Minotaurs together because he'll boost up their melee attack with that skill he's got. So yeah, what's their melee attack going to be? It's going to be 47. That's a pretty significant boost. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be good. Alright, we'll put these crappy ungores down here anyway, just to back them up. We'll put these guys in a group, put them all together. Uh, no, we don't want a hard group of them, I'm just going to charge them in. Alright, we're going to leave you guys... Well, you're going to be shooting in the trees pretty much no matter what. I'll leave you guys right there. Uh, over here. Let's put you over here. Yeah, that's a better spot for you. Uh, let's see here. We've got all of you guys. Oh, yeah. Deep. Running real deep. We'll have all of you... We'll put all you guys in a group. Charge you guys in. Charge you in. And we're starting. Alright, you guys are gonna go straight for the Grail Guardians. You guys are the most important ones. Let's see here. Goros. Where are you coming in at? Right here? Perfect. Get these trebuchets. Yeah, I need to get these trebuchets as quickly as possible. Uh, put you guys in guard mode. Pull, push up. I want you guys to get those skirmishers. These guys are harassing them for now. Oh man, Kazrak, what the hell happened? It's kind of men at arms. Uh, as long as he can take down the Fey Enchantress, he should be fine for a little while. Alright, I don't need all of you guys over here. Run in there. And actually, we're going to bring you guys right here. Shoot them all in the back, they'll be able to pepper these guys. all of them. Alright, Kazrak, how you doing? Fan Chantress whooping your ass? I hope not. Uh, she's doing pretty decent against you. More than I would hope. I got routing peasants. That's a good thing. Push them through. You guys are still fighting. You guys fight them. We're going to hit these guys in the back, which should pin the Fane Chantress in. And I should be able to help out Kazrak, because right now he's on the struggle bus. Come on. Keep on heading in, boys. Keep on heading in. All of you need to be fighting, fighting, fighting. Move up, move up. Oh, how are my Minotaurs doing? Oh, we took him out. Heck yeah. Goros did absolutely nothing that whole time. Let's get you guys up here. Why not? This is about to be a mass route, but... I guess Kazrak didn't need help after all. We'll head him in, chop down some Bretonian peasants. While we're at it. Why, why not? Very easy pickings right now. Let's watch some Kazrak really put the herd on him. I can find the Fey Enchantress. There she is. I'm trying to float away. We'll get her. Kazarak. I don't know if he's fast enough. He might not be fast enough. These other units will be getting in his way. Yeah. Hunt them down. See if they 
can catch her. Nah, it doesn't look like he's going to catch her. Well, we'll route as many of them as, of them as we can. And we'll go from there. How many kills you get, Kazrak? Now you got 36 kills. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, we'll call that good. The Fae. Decisive defeat. Alright. So. We did pretty good in that ambush. Goros did nothing, like usual. But that's not what he's here. Ooh, Hellfire Sword. Cool. Oh, man, it does fire damage? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. See those Grail Guardians, man. They 48 kills. They they did the most out of all of them. Yeah. My Gores, on the other hand, 236 kills from these Gores. Think, I mean, that's crazy. This kind of gives me an opportunity to kind of talk about uh, Beastmen in general. Because I'm, I'm not like a like a lore master, but I know a little bit about Warhammer. A little bit. And um, I really like what CA's done with this game. Com like, coming from tabletop to what it is now. It just did such a good job. Like, you know what? He doesn't need to replenish. He can raid. Not that it's much, but they did such a good job. Um, yeah, give him that. Making it like translating like what the beastmen are kind of all about, like in the tabletop, um, to this game. So the beastmen are primarily like an ambush kind of faction, and beastmen live everywhere, literally everywhere. Yep, we're getting that horde growth out in the uh, in the Warhammer world. They live in the forests. They live in the jungles. They live in the mountains. They live. They're just everywhere. Beastmen are everywhere. And they're always, like, a nuisance to kind of the, like, good factions of the Warhammer universe. Especially men. They hate men with a burning passion. It's more like an envy thing, I guess you'd call it. But, so they kind of have, like, a weird culture thing, like a caste system, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Salt of my units. Look, what do you see how many, it's going to be ridiculous how many people are jacked up. I uh, just... He just hurt Goros. That's not too bad. He'll be he'll be all right. Let's bring him on. Do you need to heal at all? Yeah, I could I could stand the heal a little bit. Oh, that's stupid. I can't believe that happened. Sorry, guys. Computers giving me notifications. Anyways, so the Beastmen have like a weird cast system. So you got these Ungors. Which basically means it's any beastman that doesn't have horns, or they have too many horns in some case, um, and they're like lesser beastmen. Oh, I got a cool bray herd now too. Yeah, with best of course, yes. And so they're kind of like lesser beings in the caste system. Um, not thought of real highly. They're kind of shit, basically. Um, borderline slave, pretty close. Then you have the Gores, which are usually bigger, stronger, and they have two horns. And they are like the elite, ruling elite of the B, if you even consider it like ruling, because there's not really ruling, it's mostly like animal, like rule of the law of the jungle kind of stuff is how they work. But yeah, we'll definitely get that upgraded. And I think we're, we're good, eh? attack this castle but the beastmen don't have any technology really they they're not one well, not that they're smart not smart well they're pretty stupid for the most part they're dumb Kazrak's kind of a uh, a uh, ooh, do I, want, I need to I probably don't even need towers we can probably just go in here and wreck them yeah we'll do that beastmen usually don't build anything um, it's kind of their thing they just live like in huts not even huts, like, like live under a tree with like man flesh draped across it to cover them from the rain. That's like the extent of it. All right, we are. Oh, this is a pretty cool map. Let's check the check the rest of this out. This deployment zone's massive. 
huh. Got a really long wall, you got two gates. You got this gate, and then we got this one way down here. Where I'm at. I probably want... Because the city center is right... Wow. Right here, through here. So this is where I need to capture. So... Man, it's kind of like... Let's kind of get this a little bit. There we go. City center's through there, so... We're definitely going to... Well, you could go this way. Through the city. Eh, no. This is a shorter route. This is where we're going. This is where we're going to do it. So my Minotaurs with Gorbel and Kazrak, yours truly. They're all going to head through this gate here. Backed up by these expendable Ungors, because I really don't care if they get decimated whatsoever. We'll leave some archers. You know what? The archers can... I don't know if you can scale these walls or not. They're so high. I don't think you can. I think that's considered, like, map geometry. Uh... You can definitely climb these walls. Probably gonna be people there though. Let's use you guys to try to get up through those. I'll leave my Ungors over here. Ungors are going over here. They're gonna help out with Goros when he gets here. And I'm gonna use you guys to climb these walls, these towers, over this way. You in a group. Let's put you in a group. Hard group you. We'll put you in a group. Well, why don't we just add you guys to them? Add you one at a time. Why not? All right. So everybody's grouped now. But they don't need to be hard grouped. And let's go. Get up there. You guys climb these walls. Climb. Oh shit. Get in there quickly. Climb those walls that way. Mostly just peasant bowmen, so we should just slam through them. Goros and his crew are gonna try to bust down the gate. It'll take them forever, but that's okay. This section of the wall is pretty much undefended. So they're putting their gates up, their, their ladders. A little gores, look at them. Alright, ladders have docked the wall. Got Bretonians, peasants, filthy peasants. Ooh, gate's already down. Let's destroy these guys. Swordsman? Oh yeah. Oh, Gorbul. Oh yeah. Oh, this is bad. Yep, they're done. They're done for. Let's check out how these guys are doing over here. Not so hot climbing these walls. They're taking a lot of damage. See, the thing about climbing the walls with like the ladders and whatnot is that... Let's get the, you guys up here and you can start firing on them at least. Minimum. So when you get to the top of the ladder, you're like tired. So... They're going straight into battle. The good thing about Beastmen is they don't they don't uh, tire as easily, but I mean they have higher le melee attack. Plus I've got a Lord that's kind of over here, so that's kind of good. But anyways, we should be destroying them over here. Yeah, we pretty much this is going to be a mass route over this way. Let's get rid of these mounted yeomen. Well, you guys, we can actually send you guys back up here in the backs of these guys and route them even quicker. Get them off of there. You guys keep going. Take care of these yeomen, and then we're going to go to the city center, capture it, and hopefully end the siege quickly. They're slowly but surely taking this gate. It could take a while. 
The Gores have taken a beating on their way up. Yeah, see how they're tired? It says they're tired. That's why they're losing so much. Even to mounted yeoman archers they're losing. Let's get you guys in here. We've taken this gate. So we're going to come back up here. Well, they've pretty much all shattered up top. Using the chase off some of that. We won. Everyone shattered. All right. Good. All right. Decisive victory. How'd you like Gorbol? Freaking line back and through all those peasants. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Uh, I don't really like those. In, well, I mean, it'd be, it's kind of actually kind of good with the Beastmen because I can make one of my faltering units unbreakable so that they won't flee. It's another problem with the Beastmen. Oh, yeah, we need some cash. Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting that cash. The Beastmen have a problem with uh, leadership. <laughs> As you can see, they're very cowardly unless they are wholeheartedly winning in battle. Which is why we are going to upgrade their leadership. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go, Gorbel. Oh, yeah. It gets up to plus 20. Oh, yeah. Definitely doing that. Way to go, Gorbel. Scout ahead a little bit because we're going Brion next. I want to kind of avoid the Wood Elves because they're going to have just shits loads of units in there. Have him build up a little bit. Kazrak, you can't do anything right now. We're getting there, though. Oh, I forgot about my Bray Herd. That's okay. Uh oh. Stupid little Fan Chantress. Is that Fan Chantress? No. It's a dude. Cassion Th Theogard. I need to replenish on my way over here. So that's what we're gonna do. Replenish. They got nothing. Uh, I could actually... Oh. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do it. Why not? It spreads more corruption, plus it gives him some more horde growth. Oh, there's some wood elves. Are they really going to come settle that? That's actually what they're going to come do? That's kind of stupid, if that's the case. Oh, man. That detected, so... I mean, I hate to keep doing this, but we need the replenishment bad. Yeah. I say we take care of this guy. And we got an ambush. We really don't need to fight this. This is going to be decimation, so... Eat them. They have like two units. Send them in here. Kazrak? Ah, what do we got here? Get that whore growth up. I'm getting it up. We need those warhounds. I say we get rid of these wood elves and this unit if we can. Yeah. Done. We're getting a lot of ambushes. I guess that skill with Kazrak's really paying off right now. Can you reach him? Yeah! Good. We've got no opposition now. No, we're eating them. You don't release humans. You eat them. That's what beastmen do. them up again. Oh, yeah. See that? Plus nine horde growth? Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Ooh, I got another one. 
see I need we need lightning strike for later on oh slug skin would be really good though weapon strength for the army but we'll do that next we'll do lightning strike first get some better leadership for our beast men because they need it Koros leveled up Koros is not gonna stay dead as long now if he ever gets assassinated which happens often and let's try to move him this way scout out Brion there you go more casualty replenishment wait one second didn't see that we could boost it. It spreads more corruption, plus it'll lessen the time for that. Yeah, we can do that now. We, we don't need the money that bad right now. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. That freaking agent is being a pain in my ass right now. Gonna keep trying to assault me, weaken me. Alright, I went from nine to seven, so we saved two turns. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's run you guys up here. Can you raid into there? Not quite. Oh, we'll put you in there anyway. Oh, put you right here in case we need to. Yeah, no, there's nobody there. Okay. Need to be more careful. <clears throat> With these horde factions, you don't have a lot of uh, leeway. If you screw something up, you could just lose your whole horde. So, <clears throat> all right, there he failed again getting lucky on this. Usually they just start beating the shit out of your units and you just start defenseless to everything that's happening. So we're about to wipe Carcassonne off the map. There's going to be nothing left. Are they on our... So we just need Bretonia really, is what it looks like. Ah, uh, they started the war with us. We might as well get rid of them. Who cares? Who cares about them? We could... Raid into there a little bit. Let's see what we get. That's not bad. That's not bad. Make a little cash off them. Because they don't have anything garrison wise. Yeah, I'm just going to be able to. I'm probably not going to even fight that. We're just going to destroy them. Let's make a little money. Finish off Brion. I did not realize they had. I didn't think this was walled. I forgot that the Bretonians, when they get a, th a tier 3 settlement, it's walled no matter what. Damn it. Oh, that's annoying. What's it look like? We might have to fight this, even though it's like nothing, because I don't want. I, I can't afford to lose that many units. Frustrating. It's very frustrating. You know what? We'll quick save and see what the auto resolve gives me because I really don't want to fight this. I want to fight something better for you guys. Yeah, okay. That's not that bad. Ooh. I need money. Build up, build up a little treasure trove here. So that should be it for Carcassonne. Yep, that was it. They're gone. We're gonna keep pushing up towards Aquitaine. Bordello. It's the capital. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely keeping that horde growth. Spare the warriors. Alright. 
So let's have you replenish on your way up here. We can almost get Warhounds. We're so close. You're probably like... Thick. Warhounds aren't that awesome. Well... For the Beastmen, they are very good because you need something fast like that to be able to... Oh man, I could... Yeah, it'll make him cheaper and maybe I'll actually be able to put some better units in his army. Oh, you guys are shit. Get rid of you. Oh, I can't. I shouldn't do that. I forgot. Because if I disband them, I'm going to lose my Bray Herd. Oh, that sucks. Because I can't. I think you have to keep 17 units to keep your Bray Herd, I think. Eh, that's fine. We'll just, we're working our way up. Let's get you guys raiding in here. Raid on through. Alright. There's Albrecht de Bordello. He's got his... Trident of Manon already. Manon is the... God of the sea. Kind of like Poseidon. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even cared, but... Now you know. Let's move you up. And I think I finally, finally, we can get these Warhounds I've been talking about forever. Yes. They won't do me much good in a siege, but in a field battle, they'll be invaluable. Because they have scaly skin. I'm pretty sure they have scaly skin so that they don't take that much damage from missile fire. Well, they get a a boost, basically, a percentage off. Ooh, do I want to wait to get the Poison Warhounds? Yeah, they do have scaly skin. Ooh, I like the Poison Warhounds. They're not that much more. Yeah, we'll get the Poison Warhounds. Let's do it. They haven't gone to war with us yet, so we got time. Build this up a little bit. Alright. Let's finally get some Warhounds. Uh, do we need three? I li really like them. I like them so much I want three of them. We'll stick with two for now. That means we can get rid of these suckers. Get rid of you. And actually... Give me some of them. Because they are better. Goros. Leveled up. Ooh, yeah, we get your, your horde growth up too. Might as well. And we are going to siege Aquitaine now. We should probably... Nah, it won't be too bad. Especially since I have my... Ah, uh, shit. See, I dropped below the threshold. Damn it. Oh, fully replenished? See, I might need that because after I beat these guys, he's going to come after me. So we're going to do that for now. Man, I, it seems like that's the only thing I'm ever taking. But... Eh, what can you do? More casualty replenishment? Yes, please. And we are going to be right there. You are coming in to Aquitaine. We are declaring war. Yes. They don't have walls, so that's good for me. We'll just do this real quick. And we'll be fully replenished. And ready for... Albrick. Yeah, we need that money. We're in the negative now. That's my fault. Alright, slug skin, like I said. Get that up. 6%, so that's good. That means when they, when they do hit people, they'll be... So we can do this again. Uh, no. 
leave him for now. He's well. Yeah, we'll leave it. I don't like that I'm negative. Negative cash inflow with there at the top, but I can afford it for a while with it only being minus 90. It looks like... Ooh, sweet. Got a Bray Shaman. Oh, no, I need to recruit a Bray Shaman for my quest. Hmm. I want to say Graktar is actually the Warlord. Ooh, no, we don't need that. That Kazarak um, fought to take over the herd from originally in, the, in like the lore. What's Borlo got? They got a shitty garrison, but they got a full stack right there. So I'm thinking we're gonna do the old sneaky sneak like we did the last time. Get you right here. That way, when he comes out to attack you, we'll put you up here, actually. Can I go move further with him? Oh, yeah. Move him up here. This will be less likely for him to see him. And then let's see what happens. With him raiding, he'll probably try to come out and get towards him. And he didn't. He's just going to sit there. Lucion. Non aggression pact? Ooh. This could work in our favor. Could be friends with the undead? Yes. They can help us take out the rest of these Bretonian bastards. Man, the only he's got a shitload of knights, but they won't do anything in a in an actual siege. Do you take me for a child? I will not blight my soul. Hmm. He's not coming out. Let's move closer to Musion. We might be able to just bypass these guys and head straight for Bretonia. If that's the way they're going to be. Can he not reach me? Maybe that's the problem. Put him right there. Or does he already know? He might just know. Yeah, he is not coming out of there. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Well, actually, I think that's all the time I've got for today, guys. So... Next time, we will decide. Just leave a comment below on what our decisions are going to be for this. Do we take out Bordalo or do we keep pushing on? So, I don't know. Speak up in the comments. I'll, you know, talk to some of you guys, see what you guys want to do with it from here. And I have been Jumbo Thick. Thanks for watching, guys. And that's all I've got today. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.